Hi there everyone, welcome to another Aorus Wi-Fi battle. This was a battle I had a little while back on my stream on Twitch. A uh, very hard fought battle, as you can see my opponent bringing some terrible OU frets. While my team consists mostly of... Eh, no, I think I got two OU Pokemon, haven't I? And one NU. But yep, this is how it went. I do love the uh, Deoxys theme here playing. So yeah, my opponent leads off with his Landorus, no surprise there. But this is bad for me because I'm going to have to switch out. Because I'll die to one Earthquake. And I certainly don't want that happening. So I go into one of my flyers here, whilst he predicts my, uh, my switch and goes for a U-turn himself. Quite unfortunate for me. But uh, goes into his McChicken, who of course dominates my Togekiss. Unfortunate, but that forces me to switch out into Mamoswine. Which perhaps my opponent saw coming, because he went straight for the Heat Wave. However, I'm a very bulky Mamoswine, with the Assault Vest and the Thick Fat to reduce damage of fire attacks, and I take that quite well. Here I decide to go for the knockoff, because I had a feeling that chicken was going to be very annoying with leftovers, but he switches out into Noxia. Now, I really should have seen this coming, considering the way this guy's been playing the whole time, but I went for the Earthquake, and he switches out into Gaia. Very annoying and unfortunate for me, but uh, here I think... Yep, the Earthquake misses. Here I think maybe he's going to predict me to switch, so I stay in and go for the Icicle crash, crash. Which luckily connects and is able to take that thing out. Even with my reduced attack. So I'm glad I got that evil monstrosity out of the way, as he switches into the Easter Bunny. Here I decide to switch out. I want to... I want to preserve this thing for a bit. While well, he goes for the Aqua Jet, assuming that I was happy to sack that off. But fine by me, Ryujin's a good counter here. He withdraws, not wanting to take any super effective poison attacks. And switches into his little uh, grass Pokemon. I go for the knockoff, hoping to get rid of any citrus on the Azumarill, but we see knockoff here doesn't knock off anything. Therefore, this is a Mega Venusaur. And of course, it Mega Evolves, but I'm not scared by Venusaur at all. Leech Seed, Giga Drain ain't gonna do nothing to my Ryujin. So here I go for the Acid Spray to lower its special defense. And my opponent goes for the Giga Drain. Doesn't do much damage, and fortunately, with my Liquid Ooze ability, causes him to take damage instead of. Uh, receiving health. Now, I decide to go for the Scald. I want to get that thing burned. And here, my opponent predicting that I'd perhaps go for the Acid Spray again, switches into his Robota. But lucky me, I burn I Scald him, but unfortunately I do not get the burn. But here, I'm fine to keep going for Scald. I'll eventually burn it. But my opponent is fearful and switches out. Get the scald off on the muck chicken. It's not going to do much damage, unfortunate, but. Actually, it did more than I was expecting, thanks to a critical hit. But again, still not fortunate enough to get the burn. So I decide to switch out here. And I go into Mammoth Swine. Happy to let this thing die if necessary, but my opponent goes for the roost. Surprise, surprise. Here, I try going for the knockoff again, because I do want to get rid of this thing's item. I know it's going to be incredibly annoying. But he switches out into Noxia. Silly me. I My opponent's always... V this opponent of mine is very predictive. But here, I decide to go for the Earthquake anyway. I didn't think he was going to switch out into Zapdos. But unfortunately, it's not enough to finish it off. And it takes me out with the Moonblast. However, this is fine. 
I'm able to get in my Togekiss now, and I don't believe Florges is much of a threat to me. So I go for the nasty plot. Opponent there going for the wish. Now I could predict the protect, or I could predict the switch. Here I predicted a switch, I, f I believe. Yep. But now my opponent decides to switch into his McChicken, Zapdos, who of course resists flying type attacks. However, plus two air slash on a super luck Togekiss holding a razor claw results in a critical hit, taking about what was that? Three quarters health? I was very surprised to see the chicken was actually faster than me, considering I assumed that thing was very bulky. But the Volt Switch leaves me with one HP. Which is enough for me to finish off Noxia with a stab um, at Dazzling Gleam. So he brings back in chicken here, knowing that he'll outspeed me. And goes for the roofs, trying to stall me out. But with my super luck and uh, razor claw, that results in my moves critical hitting 50% of the time. I'm a much bigger fan of this Togekiss as opposed to that uh, air slash paralyzed flinching one. So in comes the Easter Bunny. My opponent was very distraught over the loss of his Zapdos there in the chat. But takes out my Togekiss. No surprise there. Which leaves me with very few options. So I decide to bring in Ariados. While he switches out fearing the poison type attack. Unfortunately for me, the only poison type attack I have is Toxic. Which does not affect Robotar. Switches out into his Mega Venusaur. And takes a neutral Mega Horn. Which does a nice chunk of damage there. But here, I decide to switch out into Ryujin. Because I know Venusaur is going to be faster. But lucky for me, he goes for the Leech Seed. Perfect with my um, Liquid Ooze ability. Instead of restoring his HP after each turn, it'll now take HP each turn. True, it does take HP from me, but I'm happy it takes a lot off him as well. And now, even if he does switch, I'm still going to have the Leech Seed on. Unfortunately, a Scald wasn't enough to kill. So he is able to get a bit of extra damage off with the Giga Drain, but that results in his own death. However, I know that um, that Bishop is going to be a serious uh, problem. I'll be very lucky if I can get the burn, but there's a good chance it may kill me with a Sucker Punch. We see I do live on free HP, and I'm able to get the Scald off. But I still don't get the burn. I think that's three Scalds now I've used in this match, and I didn't get a burn on any of them. Rather unfortunate, but that Leech Seed finishing me off and doing a little bit of damage. So, that leaves me with Ariados. While well, he goes for the Sucker Punch. Luckily, my Mega, no my Mega Horn does connect and I'm able to finish it off. However, I'm in a bit of a problem. My only Pokemon left are both weak to this Easter Bunny. So all he has to do is Belly Drum, which unfortunately he does. Here I go for the Toxic. I just have to hope that perhaps um, Tsukiyomi, my Umbreon, will outspeed. Looking at the team preview of this match, I realized that um, Sticky Web probably wasn't going to help me here. He had a f he had the a couple of Pokemon that could fly, if I remember correctly, and he had the Bishop, who, if caught in a Sticky Web, with its Defiant ability, would have had its attack raised by two stages. So I opted not to go for the Sticky Web, which, as you can see here, does not benefit me, because the Easter Bunny 
is faster than my Tsukiyomi. Very unfortunate. I probably would have been able to one-hit KO with a foul play, considering it was at plus six. But now, the battle's pretty much done. All I've got left is Charizard, and I highly doubt a Charizard can take an Aqua Jet. However, I am the Mega Charizard X. On the off chance I survive, I just go straight for the uh, Fire Punch here to do some damage. But, uh, out comes the Aqua Jet. And I live on 2 HP. <laughs> I Absolutely beautiful. That Mega Evolving and gaining that type resistance there is really what saved me. With the Fire Punch still not doing enough damage to take it out, but that Toxic racking up and finishing it off. One of the closest battles I've ever had, and a very good one. My opponent very salty over uh, my Togekiss crit, but eh. Would you be more salty over a crit, or would you be more salty over a um, Serene Grace flinching Togekiss, who could have flinched out half of his slow team there? But anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed.